guys, I give you a warm welcome once again from SLTV Lab. So my name is Mr. Shadra Kamui. So today we are going to see something called the intermountable disk. This is what we are going to see today, the intermountable disk. We remember there is a video where I showed you the vertebral column, but we only saw the vertebrae. These are the vertebrae, these bones. So today I would like us to see the intervertebral discs. So please share the video to your colleagues. And if you have not subscribed, please press subscribe. Good. Thank you very much. Let's go. So guys, first let's see what is the intervertebral disc. The intervertebral disc is a layer of cartilage that separates adjacent vertebrae in the spine. So you remember there is a video we saw about the vertebral column. We discussed about these things. These are called the vertebrae. These are the bone of the vertebral column. So the intervertebral disc are these cartilages just between the adjacent vertebrae. Good. I have said the intervertebral disc is a cartridge separating adjacent vertebrae in the spine. Those are the intervertebral disc. Then let us see where to find the intervertebral disc. So we, we are starting from the rumba area. This is called the rumba area. Do you, make, do you remember the rumba area? It's the area that is closer to the sacrum. Down here, it is the sacrum. The sacrum. And below the sacrum, we found this, this bone. This is the coccyx. So, in the sacrum, there is no intervertebral disc. At coccyx, there is no intervertebral disc. The intervertebral disc just ends at the arrow 5 and the sacrum. You get me. The last intervertebral disc is between the fifth rumbar vertebrae and the sacrum. And these intervertebral discs are very soft. You wonder why are they soft? Because they work as shock absorber. Shock absorbers. Imagine if all your weight pass through the vertebral column and there is nothing to absorb the shock. Only bones. It can't work. And this allows right movement between the vertebrae. Now let's see the number of the intervertebral disc. Actually, we have 23 intervertebral discs in our back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 just from, the, uh, from above the L1. Downward, we have 6. Then, 7, 8. 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13th, 14th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 22nd, and lastly, 23rd. 
you get me so as you can see between the first cervical vertebra and the second cervical vertebra or between atlas and axis there is no intervertebral disc between atlas and axis there is no intervertebral disc and at the sacrum and coccyx there is no intervertebral disc so discs the intervertebral discs are between all other vertebrae except between atlas and axis in that the sacrum and the coccyx so now we are going to, next we are going to see the tutorial on how the intervertebral disc is what are the part of the intervertebral disc and what are their loads good let's see the intervertebral disc so it looks like this it has two main parts the one in the center is called nucleus pulposus the outer part it is called the annulus fibrosus but this name annulus fibrosus comes from the latin annul annus which means link so this annulus fibrosus looks like a link around the nucleus purposus now let's see what is the role of the nucleus purposus this one distribute weight throughout the whole intervertebral disc then the annulus fibrosus these provide attachment to the vertebrae so in order not to flip out of the vertebrae there should be an attachment so the annulus fibrosus provide the attachment to the vertebrae and the whole intervertebral disc play a role of shock absorbing within the vertebral cora and it is the one that allows slight movement between two adjacent vertebrae thank you very much for watching the video i hope it's very helpful so please don't keep this good news to yourself just share the video to your colleagues and tell them that there is a youtube channel called SRA TV Lab that provide medical and health sciences video and tutorials. And please, if you have not subscribed yet, please place the subscribe button and press the bell so that you will not miss out the next video. And give your comment to tell me whatever you want me to provide to you. Share a video to your colleagues. May God bless you abundantly.